other people think why everyone hates the Genshin Impact community. I see a lot of people saying that, like, Tectone's audience caused this, Tectone's chat did this. But in reality, it's just that, like, the Genshin Impact community is just terrible, bro. And it doesn't happen anywhere else. Like, these issues don't happen anywhere else. But people can blame people for the action of content creators inside the community. But when those, those content creators go anywhere else, it's completely Fine. So let's see why other people actually hate the Genshin Impact community. I hate the Genshin Impact community. Oftentimes for a reason that may seem- Okay, maybe I'm nuts. Am I crazy? Do y'all think the Genshin Impact community is good or bad? I, I am genuinely curious. Am I overreacting? Let me know. Because like in my experience, I've experienced nothing but terrible bullshit. Bad, horrible garbage. It's shocking how bad it is. Online bad. Bit of both, low-key cringe, 100% correct, uh, let's keep going. Team undeserved because most of this community is pretty normal. But when we talk about the vocal minority, their action can go from hating a voice actor to trying to bomb a festival in- Oh yeah, I forgot about that. In real life. Yes, you heard me right. Today, we're gonna talk about all of these reasons and if the community really deserves it. Because this- Of course it's bad, you're the ringleader. Do you really think that? Wait, genuine question. Flash Town, which is crazy because it sounds like you're my brother's name. Do, do you actually think it's all my fault? Genuine? Like, do you think I caused everything? Like, do you think, do you think people rally behind me to ruin a community of global scales? You think I'm the leader? I'll give you 30 seconds to type anything else. Nah, bro, I just popped in here to say something. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, anyways. Is pretty bad. I want you to acknowledge that the vast majority of the Genshin Impact community consists of normal individuals who simply love the game. Yep. However, it's important to recognize that even within such- So what I think he's saying is, the, Jesus, the majority of Genshin Impact players- Fully- Sorry, I need to- So the thing is, is that like, the majority of Genshin Impact players like do not interact online. They don't type anything. They just play the game and they collect their mint and they're happy. But the problem is, is the community that represents us online, YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok, it's just so bad. So the social media portion of the Genshin community is just miserable. But the majority of Genshin players I've met in real life, they're fine. They're good. They're just happy. They're, they're cosplaying their little Deluxe and, uh, and Beidos and they're having fun. Such a large community, a minority can have a significant impact. Given the immense size of Genshin Impact players, no pun intended, even a small percentage. And the other problem is that people say, well, yeah, well, not not everybody in the community is bad. Well, yeah, but the only people that you interact with are. So it is very irritating. Constitutes a substantial number of individuals. So firstly, let's talk about the group of haters whose animosity towards Genshin Impact community is entirely unjustified. These individuals possess a limited understanding of the game and hastily dismiss it as merely an enemy game. Their hate extends beyond Genshin Impact to encompass any game associated with the anime design-like genre. This yeah, I mean, they say any game that's a mobile game will never kill Genshin. Any game that comes out that's a Comp competitions say, oh yeah well it's good but it's not genshin and then they say oh yeah these characters are good but they're not as hot as genshin and it's just uh we're getting to the point where it sounds very cringe i'm starting to feel probably understand how people who played blade and soul and final fantasy 14 felt when all they said was yeah well it's a pretty good mmo but it's not world of warcraft or it's a pretty good moment but it's not league of legends and uh yeah i mean i feel like this is just the dynasty of this genre to be honest this type of judgment is not only baseless, but also demonstrates how stupid these people are. To condemn a game without experiencing its depth and intricacies is inherently flawed. Genshin Impact is a good game. Dismissing it, or any other game in the genre solely based on its aesthetic or genre showcases a narrow-minded approach of gaming. Of course you can make fun of Genshin players, but not be serious about it. So yes, this is undeserved hate, but how about we discuss the deserved reason? Here we have a lot. Oh boy. Let's start with the harassment and death threats directed at voice actors within the Genshin Impact community for- Which one? Uh, which one in specific are we talking about here? There's been multiple. So I'm trying to figure out- I've got to nail it down. 
Which one in specific are we talking about? For trivial reasons. For example, let's consider the case of the Kokomi voice actor. This Chinese voice actor faced relentless attacks and numerous death threats during live streams. And the same treatment extended to other Kokomi voice actors in different languages. Now, what was the reason to make this horrible human being deserve death threats? The reason, believe it or not, was simply dissatisfaction with Kokomi's in-game abilities and kit. Yes, players targeted a human being who had no control over the character's design solely because they disliked the character's abilities. This behavior is utterly reprehensible and there is no justification for it. So here's the problem with this video, right? So what's going to happen is, and the community's perception of this video is going to be as follows, okay? This guy is going to list out 10 things that Genshin Impact's community has done that is wrong. And if there's any minor inconsistency in any of the stories... People are going to extrapolate on that, expand it, and say, okay, well, one of your 10 points is wrong, which means now they're all wrong. And that happens in every single post, right? And people will say this content creator is being toxic because they disproved one thing, which disproves everything, which is just the dumbest way to solve about your disputes online. What's even more absurd is that Kokomi eventually proved to be one of the best characters in the game, especially after the addition of the Dendro element. So what did this relentless harassment achieve? It served only to make the voice actor's life more miserable. And if you think that this is the only example, let me shed light on another instance. The voice actor for- Now I will say, what's really cringe about the Kokomi incident is where there's content creators who hold it above other content creators' heads who said that Kokomi was bad on launch because now she's good. They said that people were wrong about her on launch and to just be patient with every character release. I'm sorry, that's just like not how the world works. Because if that's true, or if anything comes out it's in a bad state and you're not allowed to complain because you need to wait two years for a eventual change to happen, that's just dumb as my opinion. Or Dory faced similar harassments after players heard leaked voice lines and subsequently disliked the character's abilities. This escalation led to the voice actor closing her direct messages and addressing the issue publicly, urging people to stop. Not only that, but there have also been instances of harassments directed at the Acheron voice actor in Hawkeye Star Rail. This happened like two weeks or three weeks ago. This harassment stemmed from the fact that Acheron, who shares similar Similarities with Raiden Show. Okay, this is this is shocking. Okay, I, I've heard I've heard of the Genshin Impact VA harassment. Well, why the Honkai Star Wars? I don't I've never heard of this. Is this new? I never heard of this. Shogun from Genshin Impact was not voiced by Raiden Shogun voice actor. That's oh my god! The Genshin fans were pissed because they look similar, so they have to be voiced by the same character. What the? F oh, that's so weird, dude. What the? F literally the reason. Just because she's voiced by a different actor, it led to attacks on the Acheron voice actor and even the Raiden Shogun voice actor telling players to stop. Now of course you might argue that everyone faces criticism and should learn to deal with it. While that may be true to some extent, the level of hate and harassment at these voice actors is extreme and unacceptable. Now if you think these people only attacked human beings over fictional characters, how about we talk about killing beings? beings because of hating a character oh boy this is this karamosh incident players man every three months or so we just get a refresher of all the dumbass shit this community's done man and it's and it still never gets any less uncomfortable were dissatisfied with how Scaramouche is portrayed as a villain, but he is now having some positive interactions with Nahida, for example, and some players too. I, I mean, I will be real. Uh, let, let, let's just keep it a buck. Against an impact, storytelling is so fucking weak, and they want to make characters redeemable, even though they're like clearly pieces of shit. I have no idea why we're allowed to play as Tartalia. I have no idea why the we're allowed to play as Scaramouche. Just let bad guys be bad guys and just let us play them as bad guys. They don't need to be redeemable. We don't need to try to redeem them. It's fine. It is legit fine. Anyways, give us in your please. Took their hatred towards these characters to an unimaginable length, especially when the character was depicted as a cat in version 3.3. Scara meow. Okay, that's normal. That what could have happened because they represented Scaramouche as a cat. 
right? Players who despised the character used this depiction as a justification to harm real life cats. Yes, you heard that correctly. Shockingly, there have been reports of individuals resorting to violence against innocent animals because of their disdain for a fictional character. Because a teenager in a living district took the life of a cat simply because it resembled to Scara Meow. Another individual went as far as to share videos of themselves killing cats with a brick in a telegram group now this is crazy right if you think that this behavior is insane just wait until we delve into a bomb incident but before we tackle that extreme case let's do yeah i mean jesus christ bro i mean who, who, who knows what people are gonna do when they make arla chino a character and the first thing arla chino does is say oh my god traveler i'm such a big fan of you like oh my god you know you know they're gonna butcher that character too bro that's the worst thing is right now the only thing that the Genshin community is waiting for is just for Arla Chino to be this like super cool boss bitch but you know she's just gonna be a traveler simp like every other character in the game man discuss a less severe yet still concerning type of behavior firstly there is a segment of the community that expresses their dissatisfaction with the game by resorting to review bombing to other things other than Genshin they target corporations that collaborated with Hoyoverse in the past or sometimes even those with no connection to MiHoYo whatsoever they gave one star ratings to Google Classroom randomly Clash of Clans League of Legends Wild Drift what and okay, the same well, pattern happened League deserved it everything else Man. with kfc this year just because kfc had collaborated with genshin while this may seem like a way to voice discontent and drive investors away from the game it's an incredibly toxic approach even if the community's problems with the game were addressed i can't focus bro i'm too busy falling in love with the Amico. yes this behavior leaves a lasting scar on hoyaverse or any corporation on the flip side there's another faction that exhibits extreme devotion to the game whenever a competitor comes out they are quick to denounce it, often resorting to harsh criticism. A recent example is the treatment of Withering Waves right now. Similarly, when rumors circulated about Tower of Fantasy, the advertised itself as Genshin Killer, which was also proved to be fake and people are still eating it up. We talked about- Was that shit proven to be fake? I thought that shit was real. Am I nuts? I swear to God the devs themselves advertise themselves as, uh... It was real. That's what I thought, too. It was fake. It was real. I mean, they said that somewhere. I swear to God, I saw that shit before. Yeah, it was proved fake. It's fake. I think it was a news outlet that said it. This is the first time I heard someone saying that it's fake. Same. I heard it was fake, but I honestly don't care. Yeah, to be honest, Tower of Fantasy. Uh, regardless, yeah, if you shit on Wuthering Waves, I'll fuck you up, kid. That game is good as okay. If Okay? If I catch you shit-talking Wuthering Waves, you're not allowed to play it when it comes out. I'm going to just keep it 100%. Okay, you're not, you're not allowed to play it. If I catch you, if I catch you mistreating that game. About this in a previous video. Moreover, they infiltrate the community of rival games, such as Weathering Waves, just to go harass players and show how bad their game is. Now, furthermore, any constructive criticism directed towards Genshin Impact is met with hostility. So if you criticize Genshin Impact in good faith just to improve the game, you get attacked and harassed. And I'm talking about years of experience, even recently. Also, an example happened with Tech. Wow, that's a crazy pause. I was about to say, oh yeah, I know all about that. Oh, that's okay, I'm in the video. Okay. He said that he didn't like Yunjin singing, a character that sings like an opera singing, so people called him racist. And to be honest, I'm sorry, Tectone, but I think that Yunjin singing sucks balls. The first time I... <laughs> you know what's crazy? I've heard Chinese opera. And of the Chinese opera I've heard, it's good. But the way Yun Jin does it sucks. It's the same thing with Xian Yin. Or what's her name? Xin Yan? Yan's name rock and rolls the game, that bitch. Like, her singing sucks balls. The only good singing that I've heard in the game so far, and this is going to sound really cringe because I actually enjoyed it, was the Hu Tao rap. I thought the Hu Tao rap was actually pretty good. Other than that, there was like nothing, bro. I heard it was on a Discord call with two of my friends. And oh, we God? Okay, let me pull it up. Let's pull it up. Hold up. I don't think it's that bad. How would you, buddy? 
And I want to say, in comparison to the other singing in Genshin. She sucks. She sucks. Right. Right, Zinyan, terrible. It's legit it's legit not even that bad. Like low key. Like listen, I, I get the other shit, right? Okay, I'm just trying to keep it I'm just trying to keep it a buck here. It it low key ain't even that bad. Nah man, that shit sucks ass. Hey, that's okay. You have that opinion, I respect it. Not the English one. The English one sucks. The Chinese is good. Yeah, I think the Chinese is pretty good. Low key. We all had the same opinion. What is the English version? Let me actually pull it up real quick. Oh, God. Oh, man. Hu Tao English rap. Hu Tao rap. All right. Without further ado, the spirit of... You two buzzing by. Got your way to the afterlife. Opening the path without a fright. Oh, I'll light the fire. Watch it blaze across the universe. I'll spit my rhymes. Watch your step or you'll get burned. Hey. Oh, that's so cringe, dude. Holy f What's this one? It's this one's fixed? I'm up here blazing trails through the midnight sky. Lighting up the world below. And when the crowds all hear my voice. Hold up. That's the spirit of rock and roll. Let's go. It's you, butterfly, you too. Buzz and buzz. Got your way to the afterlife. Open the path without a fright. Oh, I'll wreck the fire. Watch it blaze across the universe. It's actually slightly better. Anyways, anyways, guys, I'm uncomfortable. Can anybody else agree? Anybody else completely uncomfortable? Anyways, and are we all racist or what? How can this be racist? Even if you don't like this whole type of Chinese singing, it's completely normal. Even other countries do have this type of singing. This is like saying if you don't like rap, you are racist towards black people since most of them are black. Like, what the hell are you talking about? Oh, and I <laughs> He's got a point. Nobody will acknowledge it. No one will acknowledge that what I said was really not that bad. I can understand if people got a little bit weirded out by when I made the joke about sandwiches and starving children, okay? I can understand if people misunderstand that. But me saying I didn't like Yunjin singing, that's crazy. Okay? That's crazy. You know, I shouldn't have quoted Bo Burnham. Okay? Maybe that's my fault. It wasn't even saying that. No, I mean, I know the joke. I feel like the joke's not even that bad. Okay? Oh, hey, there's starving children that would eat that food. Okay, well, I wouldn't give my sandwich to a murderer. Like... It's a it's a wordplay joke, guys. It's literally a wordplay joke. If someone would kill for a sandwich, why would I want to give a murderer a sandwich, right? It's a wordplay joke. Is it really that crazy? Loki, you know what, Techie? I'm a <laughs> You know what, Techie? I am actually very offended. Oh. Hey, I'm sorry, man. Yeah, it's my bad. Okay. <laughs> hey man. <laughs> I love that emote. There's no way to not get happy when you see that emote. Whenever you type in chat, people at you and just wave. Oh, God. It's legit the happiest emote on Earth, man. Another reason that made people hate the community is that a lot of Genshin content creators hate each other. People will not even consider entering the community with all of that. Now, it does look better lately after the end of the drama, but still, some people don't want too much drama. Now I will be real. I'm going to do a hot take. I actually think that barely any content creators hate each other now. I just think all of the ones that were shitheads have been exposed, right? I feel like the gotcha space now is better than it's ever been. Me personally. Like collabs are way easier. Talking to other people is way easier. I feel like it's been pretty good, you know? And now whenever a new one steps up, they get swatted down like the little rat they are. You know, my opinion. Tao hates Hex. Well, it's not that Tao hates Hex. It's that Tao has a crush on Hex and he doesn't know what to do about it, right? Because he's, he's an incel. He doesn't know how to talk to girls.
Now, we must address the most extreme manifestation of toxicity within the Genshin Impact community, the attempted bombing of a Genshin festival in South Korea. This shocking incident occurred during the Genshin Impact Summer Festival last year, when an individual tweeted out a threat claiming to have planted a timer bomb at the event. The tweet sparked panic among attendees, leading to evacuations and chaos. While the bomb threat turned out to be false and nothing exploded, the psychological impact on those present cannot be overstated. Imagine being at a festival and receiving such a terrifying message. The There's a really easy joke I can make right now, but I'm not going to do it. Fear and panic it instills are unimaginable. This heinous act, alongside other extreme behaviors like harming animals, underscores the urgent need to address. Is it about Clay? Maybe. Yo, V, thanks for the raid, brother toxic elements within the community. While again, it's important to recognize that such actions are perpetrated by a vocal minority, even a small percentage of a community as large as Genshin Impact is like thousands of people if not millions. And most of these people are Twitter community, so if you don't want any problems with them, just delete Twitter. Now these were the main reasons of why people hate the Genshin community. Some other reasons are either undeserved as I said before, or just not as important, so that was our video thank you for watching peace Here, i'll give you a better one okay let's ignore the entire video and let's just leave it like this do you want to know why people hate the genshin Impact community uh because they're cringe uh that's the whole video uh yep so there you go you know i mean let's be real bro when they have nahito in their profile picture they say oh nahita she's my favorite you know what i'm not even gonna say that just to get just to, just to give people a clip i'm not even gonna say it okay but uh yeah i mean go on twitter Go on Twitter, look up Nahita mains, look up Klee mains, look up Diona mains, and then you'll understand why people hate this community. That's just my opinion. See you on the next one, boys. Peace. Good video, Stuart.